All right, guys. Today we're going to be working on my fire pot for my new coal forge. And before we get going with building it, I just want to take a little bit of time and talk about what I found. So this is a model of one I made out of cardboard, kind of designing what I'm looking for. So a couple things about a fire pot I found doing my research. You can use just about anything from a brake drum to the steel fabricating one like I'm going to do. A lot of the old ones are cast iron. Um, and as far as the design or however your fire pot is actually made, that's kind of preference as to what you're going to be using it for. A um, couple examples, the old rivet style forges that they used to use are pretty much just a dish, a metal dish, and it didn't actually have a fire pot to it. It just allowed you to build up a mound of coal around the uh, air source, but they weren't really designed for using or heating up big, big stock. Uh, they did great for smaller stock. Um, a lot of the fire pots that I came across when I was in the process of designing my own were a lot of them that I found were 8 by 10 and by about 5 to 6 inches deep and when I say deep I mean this deep so I didn't want anything that big because I want mine to be somewhat portable for if I go and do demonstrations or if I'm just working here at the house I want it to be sufficient enough for both so in some of the research I found a lot of guys that weren't happy with the depth of their fire pot would take fire brick and set it up on the side and that would allow them to make it deeper um, and you know be able to make a bigger coal base in here and like I said they're just putting fire brick on the side and mounting coal up even more so with that in mind I didn't want a traditional big huge fire pot because I work mostly small stock when I'm at the house for various projects but I wanted the option of you know making it bigger if I wanted to so I came up with mine is seven and a half by seven and a half um, it is four inches deep so it's a perfect square and four inches deep and this bottom part here is let's see here, three inches because I'm going to be using a two inch air pipe to go in here so that gives me a half inch all the way around on there so today what we're going to be putting together is this the fire pot so what I'm going to do, since this is my template, I'll just cut the tape and use the uh, pattern to cut out the shapes. And that's what we're going to now. If you have any questions, I'm fairly new at a coal forge. I have been using a propane forge, but I've done a bit of research. So feel free to ask me. Uh, I will answer them to the best of my ability, but by no means am I an expert. All right, let's get cutting these out. All right, guys, so what we got here, I've got a steel plate that's three-eighths thick. It's about nine inches wide. It's just what my local scrap guy had. So we're going to lay our pieces here, take and just trace them out. Now, this will change the final dimension a little bit because of the thickness. So if you're wanting to go very specific on your uh, final design I would take into account the thickness of the material you're using because like I said that will offset the sides of it
All right, there we go. Now we're just going to use a four inch angle iron with an abrasive cut off to do this. And as always guys, when you're cutting with them abrasive cut off wheels, just use caution, put some safety glasses on, a respirator, I've seen them things explode. And uh, if it wasn't for the guy wearing his safety glasses, it would have got his eye. So I'm gonna get that and I'll be right back to start cutting them out. All right, guys, well, I got everything cut out, all four pieces. As you can see, are cut out. And now we're just going to tack them together first before we um, do the full welds. I got a square here so we can try and keep it as square as possible. And uh, I'm not a welder, so if my welds look terrible, they just look terrible. Alright guys, so we've got this all taken care of. I'm going to put on my glove because it's still a little hot. But this is what we've got. All right, that's the fire pot. There's the bottom. And it ended up being, let me get a roll real quick. All right, I'm back. I got it, so the, Dimensions ended up being, take a look here. So we've got inside to inside, we've got three inches, so just what we thought. There is seven by seven. And four inches deep. Right. And as you can see, this cart that I've got it in, I'm going to cut this opening out and weld little flanges so that that sits right down inside there. And then I'm going to take and cut a notch out here and a notch here on the back side so if I've got longer material I can place it in here. All this other area that we've got here on this cart is going to be for extra coal and it's also going to allow me that if I want like I was saying before to put the fire bricks here and I can build it up. Um, this cart is here. One of these steel service carts from Harbor Freight. I think it cost me $37. Cost me $37 for this cart, but it's going to allow the mobility of it moving. Um, it's got a bottom shelf here where if I dump the ashes out, say like I'm demonstrating and I dump the ashes out, the bottom shelf can catch it. Uh, I can put me some brackets on the sides to hold different tools and to hold like my fire poker, uh, my coal rake, things of that nature. It's not the thickest material, but I think it'll hold up. Um, Freeze Forge used something similar to this uh, and it seemed to work okay for him. I figured I'd give it a try.
So I will get back with you when we're ready to put everything together and put the piping. I'm waiting on a buddy of mine to give me the two inch piping for the air system and the ash dump. And then we'll be all set. But that's it for the fire pot, guys. Like I said, you can kind of build these things however you choose. Um, it's kind of up to you and what you want. If you want something more traditional, then I suggest the 8 by 10 by 5 to 6 inches. Um, you can use a brake drum. I've seen lots of people use those. I just wanted to make my own out of steel because I didn't have a brake drum handy. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, have a blessed day.